welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In today's class we are going to learn in details about manufacturing economics, the production cycle time analysis. We are studying introduction and overview of manufacturing. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Production Cycle Time Analysis Time is money, as the saying goes. The total time to make a product is one of the components that determine its total cost and the price that can be charged for it. The total time is the sum of all of the individual cycle times of the unit operations needed to manufacture the product. As defined in our previous classes, a unit operation is a single step in the sequence of steps required to make the final product. The cycle time of a unit operation is defined as the time that one work unit spends being processed or assembled. It is the time interval between when one work unit begins the operation and the next unit begins. A typical production cycle time consists of the actual processing time plus the work handling time, for example, loading and unloading the part in the machine. In some processes, such as machining, time is also required to periodically change the tooling used in the operation when it wears out. In equation form, Tc equals to To plus Th plus Tt, where Tc represents cycle time of the unit operation, expressed in minutes per piece. To represents actual processing time in the operation, expressed in minutes per piece. Th represents work handling time, expressed in minutes per piece, and Tt represents tool handling time if that applies in the operation, also expressed in minutes per piece. As indicated, the tool handling time usually occurs periodically, not every cycle, so the time per workpiece must be determined by dividing the actual time associated with changing the tool by the number of pieces between tool changes. It should be mentioned that many production operations do not include a tool change, so that term is omitted from the first equation in those cases. Batch and job shop production are common types of manufacturing. The time to produce a batch of parts in a unit operation consists of the time to set up for the batch plus the actual run time. This can be summarized as TB equals to TSU plus QTC, which is our equation number 2, where TB represents total time to complete the batch, expressed in minutes per batch. TSU represents setup time, expressed in minutes per batch. Q represents batch quantity, expressed in number of pieces, and TC represents cycle time as defined in the first equation, expressed in minutes per piece. To obtain a realistic value of the average production time per piece, the setup time is spread over the batch quantity, as follows. TP equals to TSU divided by Q plus TC, where TP represents average production time per piece, expressed in minutes per piece, and the other terms are in the previous two equations. If the batch size is one part, then equations 2 and 3 are still applicable, and Q equals to 1. In high production, mass production, these equations can also be used, but the value of Q is so large that the setup time loses significance, as Q tends to infinity. TSU divided by Q tends to zero. The average production time per piece in equation 3 can be used to determine the actual average production rate in the operation. RP equals to 60 divided by TP, where RP represents average hourly production rate expressed in pieces per hour. This production rate includes the effect of setup time. During the production run, after the machine is set up, the production rate is the reciprocal of the cycle time. RC equals to 60 divided by TC, where RC is the hourly cycle rate expressed in cycles per hour or pieces per hour. These equations indicate that the cycle rate will always be larger than the actual production rate unless the setup time is zero, given that 
RC is greater than or equal to RP. So, we have studied in details about manufacturing economics, the production cycle time analysis. Thank you.